Hello, welcome to YouTube Tuesday. My name is Rick Smiley. I work at East Carolina University. I'm going to talk today about NSF proposal file updates. This is a can be a very um, a crucial issue to know something about because it happens, it's a deadline issue. It happens right at the end of a long proposal process when that, that, that time comes where it's just got to go in and it goes in wrong. There's some piece of an NSF proposal that's just not right and your investigator could be, you know, it's, it's likely to be very stressed and very frustrated when there's a submitted proposal that, ha that it has a flaw in it. Uh, sometimes this can be because the program officer has told them, you know, you've got a, a flaw in your proposal, you need to correct it by submitting a proposal file update. So let's talk about how to get that done. The first thing to keep in mind about this is that do not withdraw the proposal. The, there is an option in Fastlane where you can withdraw the proposal, but and if you do that, you have to start over from scratch. And if it's after the deadline, obviously that might be impossible. The next part is that when a, you know, a proposal file update will change a piece of the proposal or many pieces of the proposal. It could change the abstract or the narrative or the, uh, the budget or letters of support. So when the PI goes in and initiates this, they're going to upload several new pieces. And they'll have to write a justification. The, another key piece of this is that, of the proposal file update, is that it has to be initiated by the PI. It can't be initiated by a departmental administrator or even a central level, central office sponsored programs personnel. The PI will, they, they go in through Fastlane, log in, look at the proposal, there's a link for a proposal file update, they upload their new files, and then they route it to you just like they had routed the original proposal. Uh, then the uh, ARO has to approve it and submit it onto the NSF. A couple notes about that is that generally the NSF likes to only see one uh, per, per proposal, per submission, so make sure you get it all. Uh, take the extra time to figure out the, uh, the correct way. It, generally speaking, if these are submitted by the deadline, then they'll be automatically accepted. And again, we often see it where the program officer has specifically requested a change. There's a lot more information about this in the grants proposal guide at Fastlane, and uh, so you can you can get a lot of information from that. Uh, thank you for watching YouTube Tuesday. Tune in every week.